This week on WTF, we visit Tandy. We have taken the drive all the way here, all thanks to Marquee Rent-A-Car. We are going to show you some cool places that you need to see in Candy City. Now, I'm sure you know all the leading places, but that are those back streets that are just left silent. We are going to explore that with some cool food that you can try out and at the same time, some cheap shopping that you can do. All this and more this week on WTF. Right now we are at the Candy Subway. This is the underground solution when it comes to a busy road up there. So the bus halt is close by, the train station is close by and this gets really busy I'm told by the locals here during out of the time because these little shops that carry everything that's useful to the things that you just don't know what to do with at home, they have it all here. So it's a perfect place to stop and get a last minute gift before you run to go and see someone, your friend or your relative. This is a perfect place to shop. Right now I am down Dalada Street, uh, well known because of the busy outlook that it always gives down in Candy Town. And I'm speaking to RM Razi because uh, last year I still remember when I came here, there was nothing to shop down the street. They are known to having a lot of things. Uh, so he tells me after the new government coming in, they have been given permission again. And uh, business is like Manalam. Business is good, people have money he says. So if you do come by, this street will have it all for you. Thank you RM Razi. I'm just on top of Soisa Lane in Candy. Well, the locals call it Ali Mudukku. I'm with Iqbal, he's the one who runs this place. Come here, Iqbal. Right, so we have seen what is like this in Colombo, but this is quite interesting for the only reason there's a chili stuff in it. Uh, and it's all vegetarian. This is vegetarian, this is vegetarian, and that's vegetarian. So I'm going for this. Murekuma. Uh, Rain stops shoot and so we are stuck here at the pub. It's another place that you need to try out when you come to Candy Town because their food is just spectacular. The drinks just go complementing the food of course. It's a place where you need to stop, chill and enjoy. Uh, it's on this very main street. The pub is a place that you need to visit. So in history, a lot of people wanted to invade Kandy and this was called Kandy Udarata and if you do know the history, uh, because the ones who used to rule this place, Kulum Said, they used to call it Kandy and that's how we got the name KND by. And uh, if you do see the architecture, there is something that reminds us of something that happened way back in time. But although now the modern architecture is sort of invading Kandy, it still has those little tiny elements that leaves the Kandy uh, look still alive. But this where I stand right now is the most signature place for candy, the lake. And there isn't anyone who has not taken a picture here or at least come and stared at the water for many, many hours. It's the place for lovers to fall in love and for breakups to happen and some romance to always spark through. And the walk around it is a great workout, a place that you must see in candy. With the rain, we have come to Dalada Maligave in Kandy, of course, the most spiritual place and the most loved place internationally. I'm so honored to be here. One of the most saddest moments in my life was when we heard that Dalada Maligave was bombed. I think moments and places like this should be treasured, not only for us, but for the future of our country and for the world. So here you will get to see the best of Dalada Maligave. Sri Dalada Maligave temple of the sacred tooth relic which houses the relic of the tooth of Lord Buddha since ancient times the relic has played an important role in local politics because it's believed that whoever holds the relic holds the governance of the country Sri Dalada Museum, ever since the Tooth Relic Shrine was established in Kandy, different grades of visitors and devotees has been offering various gifts to the sacred Tooth Relic. Today it has been transformed to a museum for you to go and see the best of the history. 
and something very special that you have to see when you walk into Dalada Maligawa is of course Raja who passed away unfortunately back in 1988 on the 16th of July. He was declared as a national treasure and up to date he is preserved for everyone to see. The heat, the rain, the mud, nothing stopped us. It has been a great day in Kandy and if you are really thinking of doing something next weekend, get yourself to Kandy. There's always something to see and do. It's a wrap on WTF. We'll catch you again next Thursday. Till then, keep smiling.